Hello, welcome to the first of hopefully many videos, pieces of content we do. This is Dad and Lad Soccer. Uh, please like and subscribe and your support is uh, appreciated. Um, our first video we're going to do for you guys who love football, particularly Scottish football, uh, is to cover a preview of this weekend's SBFL matches, uh, 29th and 30th of October. Uh, first match of the weekend we're going to focus on is Dundee United Motherwell at Tanadice. Um, the Dundee United lost 2 1 last weekend to St Mirren, uh, and Motherwell are without a win in their last three games. Uh, the most recent fixture, be fixture between the two was a 0 0 draw, I think that was back in September. So, Sperry, what's your, um, what's your thoughts for this one? I think it will have to be a 1 0 win to Dundee United. At home, I think they'll be strong at Tannadice, so that's my prediction. Okay, good man. Uh, next up, we've got Hibernian uh, against St Mirren at Easter Road. Hibs have lost their last three games, and last weekend they had a pretty poor uh, defeat against St Johnson, uh, which was Scotland's first VAR game. Obviously, a lot of um, drama involved in that one. Uh, St Mirren uh, are sitting nicely in fourth position in the league. Uh, which has surprised many um, under uh, Stephen Robinson. Uh, it's proven that he is a pretty good, decent manager. Um, so as I mentioned, they had an impressive home win last weekend against Indy United. They'll be in good form. So, Spenny, what's your thoughts on this one, Hibs and Burn? I think it'll be a very boring game at Easter Road, and I think it'll be a one each draw. One each draw. Teams. Uh, match of the day for tomorrow will be Rangers Aberdeen at Ibrook Stadium. Rangers are in pretty dismal form, to be honest, uh, conceding 19 goals uh, during their Champions League campaign. Um, they had a poor, really poor draw at home to Livingston last weekend, uh, and obviously a lot of Rangers fans are a bit concerned, not only about the kind of run of poor results, but obviously the level of performance under Giovanni Van Bronckhorst. Uh, so he's really in need of a much required uh, win and getting some points on the board. Aberdeen, on the other hand, uh, they've won four of their last five matches, so they're clearly building uh, a bit of momentum under Jim Goodwin. Uh, Spenny, um, anything you'd like to sort of pick up on in terms of Aberdeen's um, good form recently? Uh, yeah, um, there's one standout player for me. It's Bojan Miofsky. He scored eight goals uh, on the, for them and under his belt, which is really good. And I think he'll be a threat, and I think he might get in the score sheet against Rangers. OK. Uh, what's your prediction for that one, Rangers or Aberdeen? I think it'll be 2-1 to Rangers. 2-1 to Rangers. Um, next game up, we've got uh, St Johnson, Kilmarnock and McDermott Park. Uh, St Johnson have suffered three defeats on the bounce. Um, well, they had suffered three defeats on the bounce, um, but that was uh, they had an impressive away win at Easter Road. Uh, Kilmarnock have picked up a surprising 11 points from the last 15 available points which is quite a surprise uh, really um, Derek McInnes obviously good experience and he's um, you know, bringing that experience to uh, his group of players there um, last head to head meeting was a 2-1 win for Kelly Spenny what were you thinking for, for that one? I think it'll be the other way about I think it'll be a 3-1 win for St Johnson I think they'll be strong at home, so that's my prediction. Okay, very good. Just finally looking at uh, the last games of the coming weekend, uh, which fall on the Sunday. First of these is uh, will be the match of the day, obviously on the Sunday, which is Livingston against Celtic. Uh, David Martindale's Livingston are, are sitting on the halfway mark in the league, uh, and they're always a tough nut to crack, especially for Celtic uh, on the Astro Tough, uh, really difficult surface uh, to to. You know, play proper flowing attacking football on. Uh, they'll be in confident mood after a, a really positive result at Ibrox last weekend. Uh, Celtic obviously might be feeling a bit a slight disappointment after a 1 1 draw uh, against Shakhtar Donetsk in the Champions League. But domestically, they're really uh, banging the goals in. Um, and, you know, good attacking play. Uh, they've scored 14 goals in the last three domestic outings. So they, I think, might be in confident form. Um, any new, any positive injury news for tomorrow for Celtic? Yeah, it will be Jota and Starfelt are set to be back in the squad, and uh, that'll give Celtic more options for the first team. So we'll wait and see what happens there. Okay. In terms of the result for that one, Livingston Celtic, what's your what's your thoughts? I think it'll be 
tight, but I think it'll be 1 0 Celtic. 1 0 Celtic, okay. Uh, final match of the weekend, uh, we go up to Dingwall, it'll be Ross County against Hart and Midlothian. Uh, Ross County sit bottom of the SPFL with only one win from the last five matches. Clearly low in confidence under Malcolm Mackay. Uh, Hearts, on the other hand, had a really good victory in the Europa Conference League on Thursday night at Sandcastle. Um, and they really uh, they were very unfortunate against Celtic last weekend, ran them close, uh, a thrilling seven-goal thriller. Um, uh, anyone who's a standout for Hearts at the minute who, who would give them confidence for this one? I think it will have to be Lawrence Shankland. You know, he got a hat trick against Celtic and he looks like a good player. He, he got a goal against RFS in the Conference League, so I, I think he, he also might get in the score sheet for that one. Very good. Well, guys, that wraps up our sort of predictions for the, the weekend's coming games. Um, hope you enjoyed this. Um, we'd really appreciate it if you can like, subscribe. Uh, and share um, and hopefully we'll have as I say hopefully we'll have some cool content coming up over the weeks months ahead as we take in more games and we really uh, get our teeth into it and um, cover uh, what we think is quite cool in the football world thanks for uh, checking in and hope you enjoyed it